Welcome to FemVid Friday and I'm Sean Rawls. Today we examine peace and communication. Hot topics at the WAC Symposium on Communication Rights for Peace which concluded today. It was a two-day meeting where people of faith and people of communication came together to work on strengthening messages and how they interrelate between faith and peace building. And now, rather than go on about the outcomes of the two-day meeting, which can actually be found online, and that is linked below, here's what participants had to share. A simple peace message for International Day of Peace, which is next Saturday. So for, for me personally, uh Peace is a state of life where one lives in the presence of God. It means living in the fullness of uh, life that comes from God. Um, as a faith leader, personally, I, I must strive to, to live a life or cultivate a life that is rooted in God and to be committed to proclaiming <coughs> and uh, working towards uh, the establishment of, the, of God's uh, kingdom. When you, when, when you make two people, when they each, each, each other, when they need someone to stand in the middle and make them to come together and love each other. So it's uh, like the Bible says, it's a covenant of make them to be one and uh, to me as a faith leader it must be start first to me uh, and, uh, and preach it and teach it to, to the people so that they, they know it this is the, the heartbeat of God this is a total transformation to the pathway of peaceful people and uh, Total transformation comes with humility and love. Um, when I say love, it means uh, perfect love. It's the love, knowing and understanding how God loves you, how much God loves you, and knowing and understanding how much you should love God, and extending that love to your neighbors and the society. Peace for me is the realization of the fullness of our human nature uh, in the sense that we understand ourselves as human beings and having that a sense of respect and understanding of the people that we live with and also the environment that we live in where there is some sense of accountability, responsibility, and where there is um, mutual relationship uh, building and um, where people live, uh, where people are happy and are able to move freely without any, uh, any uh, obstacles. Well, I think the I think from my faith-based uh, community, and also from the community, uh, which is preparing for elections 2014, we've been told, and uh, we're looking forward to that. But we want to ensure that the in order for peace to reign in this country, we want to free and fair elections. So the conditions for that is to be in place. Peace means peace, and peace has individual and as a, as a representative, I think, is a feeling of love, of safety and quiet from the Lord. It's a feeling that a person has when he or she knows the Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ loves him and that they have a time for him. Yeah, we are anticipating uh, since peace is justice and justice is peace. And uh, we're anticipating a celebration of, uh, of fairness and uh, righteousness within the community. Within the community, we do not anticipate uh, anything less than that. I believe that uh, peace is something that uh, is still within, and uh, it can be expressed. And 
to have faith that is, uh, you have hope. For instance, for the future, you want to have peace in the future, then you uh, hope for that, uh, uh, that will be, uh, come to reality. Uh, that's what uh, faith is all about. We, as a leader of a church, uh, looking after the flock is very important. As a shepherd of the flock, uh, looking at uh, what's going on in the community. Yes, uh, it's very important. Bring up uh, holiness in the community. Brings up equal rights to stay away from corruption and uh, also it is part of love for free base humanity. Peace for me is greater understanding of each other where everyone lives for one another and all live for God. And um, for my community where there is coexistence, where there is integrity and stability, that generates and produces unity, love, and peace. The Apostle Paul wrote to the believers in the church in Rome, as far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all people. As far as it depends on you, I believe we all have a part to play in creating communities where peace is a reality. And even if other people are not playing their part, Paul's call to us is as far as it depends on you. So peace begins with you. It begins with me. For me to elaborate peace in my personal context, peace for me is the inner contentment and satisfaction of the heart that expresses itself outwardly in my interaction with my social and my cultural background. And with my community, faith community, and we are advocates of peace as Paul has said, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So for me, peace is the attitude of our heart and mind, and it uh, comes out in our daily living. Peace to me is, uh, uh, is to be myself, uh, who I am. Known to others as, uh, uh, as who I am. Now, faith communication aside, there's another form of communication that appeals to us all music. A Peace Jam is going to be held in Suva next Saturday on International Day of Peace. All day Saturday, musicians and other groups will be coming together to kind of have a creative expression space to celebrate the day. It'll be at the bowling club from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to make this International Day of Peace a September to remember. It'll be free to enter and there'll be lots of things to do, including talking to some of our own family linkers who'll be there to ask you to share your peace messages and there'll be music going on throughout. Now if you're free in the evening, the evening event will run from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. and will be $20 to enter. The $20 at the door will go to the Fiji National Council for Disabled Persons, so it's all for a good cause. If you can't come down, leave a comment here on the video or on the Femlink Pacific Facebook page or the Fembits Facebook page. And just as sports will unite people, so will music this International Day of Peace, so come on down if you're in Suva. This has been another Fembit. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Rolls. I'll see you next time.